Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So, Black Flag Role Playing, that is the 5e reimagined RPG from Cobalt Press that was in the works prior to the OGL fiasco that then became. Uh, I guess, the opposition flag uh, afterwards. And uh, Tales of the Valiant, right? They, they've Interesting that Tales of the Valiant, which is how it got kickstarted, is Black Flag role-playing because Black Flag got a lot better press than Tales of the Valiant. I'm just remarking. I don't know anything for sure, but I do find that to be very interesting how that is how we labeled it. So, um, I haven't gone into the date. This just released yesterday. 138 pages. It's an early beta, but it's an, S, it's an SRD released under the Orc license. But let's listen. Let's look at this. Orc Notice. This product is licensed under the Orc license, located at the Library of Congress at yada yada yada, and available online at various locations. Including azuralaw.com uh, slash orc license and others. All warranties are disclaimed as set forth therein. And we're going to just go over the facts or the acts, as they call it, of the orc license after this, but this is where it becomes interesting. Again, I'm not even looking at the rules themselves. Attribution. This work includes material taken from the SRD, System Resource Document, 5.1 by Wizards of the Coast, LLC, and available at, gives you the location where you can grab the SRD for 5.1. The SRD 5.1 is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License, and they give you a link to the license at creativecommons.org. If you use our license material in your own published works, please credit it as follows. Black Flag Role Playing Reference Document 0.1. But, and of course, you talk about reserved material. Reserved material elements in this product include all elements designated as reserved material under the ORC license. This product contains no expressly designated licensed material, but they're mixing SRD material from the Creative Commons, so the, the system reference document from Wizards with the Orc license. And I'm aware, I don't know how that works, but I find it extremely interesting that the two can work together. That would mean that I could, in theory, uh, use the SRD, and, and again, theoretically, Wizards has said that they're going to release the 3.1 SRD under Creative Commons, and assuming that they do, then I could put out Continual Light, Digest Size, the, the, the update of Continual Light, and release under the ORC license. So, what is the ORC license? Uh, exactly give. Well, work license in plain English. And that, but I am not a lawyer. I'm not attempting to be one. Nothing I give is considered legal advice. Work license in plain English. The work license provides a way for game creators to openly share the mechanics of their game and allows for downstream users to freely use, modify, and reshare adaptations of these game mechanics. What is openly shared under the work is known as licensed material, and includes the broad functional element of the game, such as stat blocks, game rules, character attributes, and the methods and systems inherent in playing the game, as well as anything else the licensor explicitly wants to share. <clears throat> this license is broad and lets you use the licensed material globally in connection with printed books, video games, podcasts, AI, or any other technology that may exist or be created in the future. What is not shared under the ORC is known as reserved material and includes trademarks, world war, story arcs, 
distinctive characters and visual art. It's a character, it's hard. If the creator wants to share their reserved material under the orc, they can do that, but they need to make an express declaration in their orc notice. Otherwise, it remains their exclusive property. Under the orc, you can use, share, adapt, and build on the licensed material however you see fit, so long as you give proper attribution in the form of a notice in your published work. This notice both credits the upstream licensors and their contribution to the work, as well as provides an easy way for downstream users to credit the author of the work in which the notice appears. By using material licensed under the ORC, you automatically agree to license out your game, mecha game mechanics in your published work under the same terms. If you develop your own reserved material, that is your exclusive property. No one has the power to change or revoke the ORC license. Once the licensed material is out there, it is out there forever, as long as copyright lasts under these same terms. The ORC is intended to work pretty much anywhere in the world. The official version will be registered with the U.S. Library of Congress, which it is, through copyright registration to be used as a resource, but you will probably be able to find it in many locations on the internet. The ORC is dedicated to the public domain and is free to use by anyone and everyone. So again, uh, a few interesting things to point out from from this. Oh, I do believe that might mean that our wine is being delivered. I'm gonna go down. And Tracy gonna sign for my wine. Isn't my? We will have no wine before it's time. Um, but again, I find a number of things interesting. One, Tales of the Valiant is. Releasing its SRT as a black flag role playing. Tell us about it. Apparently, they didn't do the market research they should have done uh, prior to Tales of Valiant. Um, two, you can mix the 5.1 SRD released under Creative Commons with the ORC license. I don't know how. I don't know if anybody can answer how that works. Please, please let me know. I truly would like to understand it. So, folks, on that note, as always, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. Tomorrow is Wednesday night. That means there will be a live stream. 8 p.m. Eastern, myself, Bad Mike. <clears throat> Bad Mike is going to be uh, at Game Hall. It's the evening before the official launch of Game Hall for 2023. And uh, Bad Mike will be uh, on location and maybe grabbing some random special guests as they walk on by. So, 8 p.m. tomorrow. See you there. God bless. I will catch you later. Be good. <laughs>